I just went and I picked up a few things for dinner and lunch tomorrow and it was $300. <laughs> That's not even a whole week. It's a fact. Living in the north is expensive. Transporting food to small isolated communities is definitely one of the biggest costs, but that's not all. They have high electricity costs, labor costs are high, the cost of building and maintenance and construction are high. All of these factors go into making the food costs uh, more expensive in the north. So there's no question food needs to be subsidized, and it has been for about 50 years now, and it's time for a change. We went out and we talked to people in various communities. We held about 80 engagement meetings across the north. It felt that the program needed to be more targeted in terms of the subsidy. Um, you had products that were convenience foods, processed foods that were less nutritious, but they were receiving the same level of subsidy as um, highly nutritious foods. What would you like to see subsidized and what would you like to see changed? Um, more fruit and vegetables, even frozen and canned, but uh, yeah, those are the big things that we eat and buy a lot. Vegetables, fruits, 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 fruits. My kids love fruits, but with all the prices that's so high, it's ridiculous. Not only does Nutrition North focus on the delivery of healthier foods, but for the first time, commercially produced traditional or country food is also being subsidized. Also, individuals can still make personal orders with southern retailers who will apply the subsidy directly. All northern communities can be reached by sea or air. Retailers are encouraged to use ships for non-perishable items and air freight only for nutritious perishable foods like meat, vegetables, fruit and milk. And basically, here's how Nutrition North works. The government subsidizes the retailers, who in turn will pass the savings on to the consumers. So who's keeping tabs on the retailers? Retailers will have a formal agreement with the Government of Canada uh, setting out their responsibilities to give us information about pricing, food volume, um, the subsidy rate, and uh, basically a declaration that they're passing the subsidy on. We'll also have the right to audit the retailers to ensure that they are passing on the subsidy to their consumers. Nutrition North will continue to evolve. A Northern Advisory Board is now in place to enhance the transparency of the new program and to provide information and advice. For more information about which foods are eligible, your community's subsidy rate, and related health promotion programs, log on to nutritionnorthcanada.gc.ca.